Welcome to this video that will teach you how to use the increment and decrement operators in JavaScript. Let's go ahead and create a brand new file using our VS Code. File, new file, and I'm going to go ahead and give it a name. So I'll just do a save and it'll pop up the name and I'm just going to call it increment.js and I'll click save. And then uh, one thing you might want to do in the future is this little button right here is called Extensions. And it allows you to go and install add-on libraries to your VS Code. And one of them that you can install is called Live Server. And so I could type in, you click on that button and then type in Live Server. And you'll see Live Server show up. And you'll click on that Live Server. And then after you click on that, this will say install. You'll click on install, let it install, and then this will say reload, and click on reload. And what this allows you to do is this little area right here at the bottom says go live. It allows you to view your HTML within a browser. Now for this video, we're not going to uh, do the HTML. So... Um, it doesn't really matter, but in future videos we will be using that. So I'm going to go ahead and close that live server, the extension live server, and we'll go back to our files. And then we are now going to go ahead and work with the increment operator in JavaScript. So let's create a variable, var, and I'm just going to call it iCount. So this creates a variable. It doesn't have a data type, but I used Hungarian notation that says it's going to be an integer someday. JavaScript doesn't care. I could have used anything I want, but I like to put a little character in front of my variable names. Next thing I do, let's go ahead and give that variable a value. Let's give it the value of 10. So the single equals statement says assignment. So I went ahead and assigned it the value of 10. So let's say we want to add 1 to the variable I count. I could just do this. I count is equal to I count plus one semicolon and that's typical we do that all the time but there's also a shortcut you could use you could say I count plus plus semicolon this now says take the value of I count and add one to it so in other words this is equal to this and this is called the increment operator and it simply says add one to the value I could have also done this I count minus minus. That's the same as saying I count equals I count minus one. Now why would we care about using the increment and the decrement? Well sometimes it's a lot easier just to type this than a whole statement like that. And the other thing is we can use this and embed it inside of other statements. So I can include that in another statement. In other words I could do something like this. Let me go ahead and we could say alert I count. Whoops, there we go. Alert I count. Let's get rid of this statement. And then let's say alert I count plus plus. Alert I count again. So what do you think is going to print off? We have three alert boxes. The first one says, print the contents of iCount. Well, we just assigned a 10 to iCount. And then we want to print it off. The second one says, add 1 to iCount. But we also want to print that off. And then the third one says, just print off iCount again. So go ahead and guess, what will this print off? What do you think it's going to print? Make a little note. What will this one print? And then what will the last one print? Let's copy this code and let's go over to Chrome and we'll go ahead and press Control Shift I to access the console. Here we are on the console and I want to paste in that, that JavaScript that we just wrote. Ready? Let's press Enter now. The first alert right here says 10. That makes sense, right? What do you think the next one's going to do? I count plus plus 
that's the increment, says add one to I count. It prints 10 again. And you now might be saying, you're a liar. You told us that that would add one to it. Well, let's print off I count one more time. Notice I didn't do, do anything to it this time, right? I just said, what are the contents? And it prints off 11. So why is that? When we take a look at this code, we have what they call a post increment, and we also have a pre increment. This is an example of post increment. But if I had put the plus plus in front of the variable, that's an example of pre increment. Let's just do an alert box one more time. We'll put an I count right there. And I want another one right after the post. So let's try this one more time. Now I said, let's copy the code, come back to the browser, Control Shift I, let's paste in that JavaScript. First one, we assign 10 to I count, print it off. It prints off 10. Then we said, print off I count after it's been incremented. Remember, this is post. Now, why is it post? Because the plus plus comes after the variable. So that means it's post. The PO in post, this is how I remember it, also means polite, meaning it's going to let everybody else do their work before it tries to do the increment. Well, what else is on this line? The alert box. And so before the increment is executed, it says, oh, is there anybody else here that needs to be executed? And the alert system says, hey, I'm supposed to do it. I'm supposed to do my job. And so the post increment says, why don't you go ahead and display the contents of I count? And then if there's no, nothing else that has to happen, I will go ahead and increment. So that's why when this one executes, it prints off the value of 10. But what really happened to I count? Let's see. Let's see what the next I count prints off. It really was changed to 11. Because the post increment said, go ahead and print off the value of I count, and then I will update it. Well, let's see what this one does then. This is a pre-increment, because the plus plus comes before the variable. I remember that the pre is rude. Why? Because there's an R in the word pre. And rude says, I'm going to butt in front of everybody. I don't care who else is on that line. I'm going to go first. And so if there had been other things on this line also, the pre increment says, I go first. I'm going to update the value of I count. And then you guys can do whatever else you need to do. So in this case, the value of I count was 11 right here. Down here on this line, it says, let's go ahead and increment I count, and then we'll let the alert print off 12. And then this should also print off a 12. So what happens is the post increment is very polite. It's the very last thing that gets executed on a statement, the very last thing. It doesn't matter where it's located. It's the very last thing that gets executed. The pre is very rude. Doesn't matter where it's at. It's the very first thing that gets executed. And this is called our increment. The decrement, which is the minus minus, works the exact same way. There is a post decrement. And there is a pre-decrement. This would say, everybody else go first, and then I'll subtract one from my count. This would say, I'm going to subtract one from my count, and then I'm going to go ahead and do everything else on the line. And that's the post and the pre-increment and decrement. We use them a lot in loops. And we use them when we want to embed them inside of other statements.